Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. I am Flight Control and I'm honored to bring to you a new functionality within the cargo framework within Moose that's focused on cargo dispatching for APCs. Basically what this module does is it creates for you a dynamic cargo transportation mechanism that allows you to transport cargo using AI carriers in an automated and intelligent way across the battlefield. And I'm not going to talk too much about it for the moment. I'm just going to go directly to a demonstration and show you what this thing is doing. So to demonstrate the cargo dispatcher for APCs, I have here a small demonstration mission. I got here a bunch of APC carriers of different types, different sizes. I got a couple of deploy zones and the APCs will drive to in the battlefield and start and pick up these cargo infantry that's located here and will then start driving to one of those deploy zones, unload the cargo and will drive back. And it will do that in a coordinated way and this thing is fully dynamic. There is hardly any coding written. And I'm just going to kick this off and show you what this thing is doing. Okay, so the mission has started. Let me get into external view. And you see the AVs driving towards the cargo there. Get the labels away, give you a better view. And I'm just going to show you what happens with the cargo. So the APCs will drive near the cargo in an automated way. They will park and then they will start loading. Now the cargo is moving in an well let's call it in a in a kind of automated way towards the vehicles. Um, so my hard drive is a bit busy that's why it's stuttering a bit. But uh, you can see the infantry walking towards the APCs and the APCs will wait. I mean, one APC can carry about 25 infantry here. So the engine will, you know, board as many cargo as possible from various locations. There's a range problem there, but that's not really an issue. It's just a configuration problem. There we go, so the cargo is running until there isn't any more cargo to board and then the yeah the APC will drive off. Right, here we go. So this one is leaving. And in the meanwhile we have those here those jeeps here right four jeeps I got here some other cargo this one here and you see the route automatically right so let me just kick off this mission here for you see the APCs driving off. Shut down the levels. And driving automatically towards a boarding location. Let me get back to the top view. So you see those are driving automatically here. This one will drive there, fine. And slowly all of the carriers here are picking up. This one is going here. So the algorithm for cargo transportation and pickup is optimizing the locations where to drive to. Let me give you an external view of what's happening when such a APC is arriving at a pickup location. Another thing that you see is that the boarding is based on group. So as you know, in DCS, infantry must be grouped, 
right? So here I got about 14 infantry in one group. And when the boarding sequence will start, you will see those infantry running towards one of those uh, APCs in a coordinated way. And you see the other soldiers running towards the other. Yeah. So. View because in the meanwhile, in parallel, we've got the other ones boarding. Um, the APCs have varying capacity, so an AAV7 has about 25 soldiers to take, while this one here is a bit less. Right, so we parked, and that's now gonna result in boarding sequence initiated. So those are being boarded, I see those here, another boarding still going on, okay, and then here we got those jeeps here, where are they going? There as well, and I think here was a boarding also in execution, right? And the APCs will wait until the cargo base have been boarded completely. Let me speed up a little bit the logic now. And I'll show you as well what's happening with those jeeps. Right. So the jeeps will park near the cargo. And here we are. And you see all the cargo boarding into one of those jeeps. Done. And once everything has been boarded, the jeeps will drive off towards one of those pickup locations, sorry, deploy locations, which are spread out here. So let me speed it up a bit for you. So imagine that you are in a battlefield scenario and this thing is going on and you are flying you know, your planes while these cargo transportations are being handled in the background. So this creates kind of a dynamic battlefield where you can build um, you know, kind of missions where you want to prevent car cargo being transported or arrive at certain locations or where you can you know create automatic reinforce reinforcements for your for your troops and so on and uh, yeah so I think this is really a valuable thing um, let me get back to the mission editor very quickly to show you that this thing is truly dynamic so one of the things is here you know I have set up the carriers to start with the name APC. So I can just add one, I can just drop here another, another carrier, wherever I want, like here, okay, I can rename it, carrier 9, APC 9, I can create another one here, and I can just select another type. Drop off a couple of carriers here just to show you the dynamism that's in place. Restart. So now I'm back in the new battlefield scenario, and the APCs will start drive off one by one towards cargo locations. And uh, yeah. go and all of this is dynamic so I haven't really coded anything I haven't really configured anything you know there's hardly any mission editor work required to make this engine work it's just a couple of names you need to have set correctly and, and that's it and look what's going on here you see this 
truly dynamic. and they're driving off. The CPU overhead is really minimal, but because I'm recording this video, my hard drive is busy, which uh, is holding up the performance a bit of ECS. And I'm just speeding up a bit as well. Here I have here some cargo that will be deployed. Let me show you how that is working then. Right, so here the AEVs are have landed and there you go. Cargo is being dropped off automatically. Once the drop-off has been done, the APCs will drive back and will load new cargo from the locations. And this is an automated engine that's running. So there's nothing you need to develop really or configure for to make this happen. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna go to helicopters as well. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.